Father Augustus Muller was a visionary whose touch made giants out of men and institutions. Like all true visionaries, he was insightful and inventive. And like all great leaders, he was focused, energetic and inspiring. He reimagined the practice of medicine in the small coastal town of Mangalore in the 1880s and with his enterprise and resourcefulness laid the foundation of the charitable institutions which were subsequently named after him. Reverend Father Augustus Muller was born in Germany. Though he began his life's mission at St. Elvisius College, his calling to practice homeopathy led him to Kankanadi. The first hospital that Father Muller founded was dedicated to leprosy patients. In 1895, he planned a general hospital which was completed in 1901 with 12 beds. It was here that he built a modest dispensary that was destined to grow into a flourishing hospital. After a life dedicated to service through medical science and healthcare, Father Muller passed away on November 1st, 1910. The first step towards allopathic practice was taken when Dr. L.P. Fernandez returned from Mumbai with an allopathic medical degree. Thereafter, several allopathic doctors served the institution with distinction, notable among them being Dr. Venkatrao, Dr. V. V. Modi and Dr. K. S. Shetty. While the Father Muller institutions continued to grow and record many more accomplishments, 1980 proved to be a landmark year with the visit of St. Mother Therese of Kolkata, lending grace to the centenary celebrations. The establishment of the Homeopathic Medical College was followed by the addition of various bachelor's programs in allied health, medical laboratory, imaging technology, radiotherapy, physiotherapy and masters in lab technology, physiotherapy and hospital administration. In 1990, the MD program was initiated which was later followed by MD-MS programs in almost all subjects and the institute now has an intake of more than 100 postgraduates and one in MCH urology. The MBBS program was initiated in 1999 with an intake of 100 students a year and in 2012 the intake has increased to 150 students every year. With the inception of a medical college in 1999, the infrastructure of the institution was significantly enhanced with the building of lecture halls, state-of-the-art laboratories, spacious departmental offices for teaching and non-teaching staff, examination halls, an array of student facilities and a lounge. The gift of the post-centenary Silver Jubilee celebrations is a large chapel situated in the heart of the campus yet sufficiently secluded from the bustle of hospital and college. The Knowledge Center was an outcome of the decennial celebrations of the medical college providing the students with a functional advanced e-library and a separate reading facility abounding in large collections of new books and journals. The college offers the students a wide array of amenities to meet their needs such as in-campus hostels, mess facilities, eateries available at various sites on the campus and near the hostels. The Father Muller Convention Center, a state-of-art facility inaugurated in 2017, is a fully integrated and advanced convention center which caters all kinds of events. For recreation, apart from the spacious playground, a huge multi-purpose indoor stadium having centralized air conditioning was built to cater to shuttle badminton, basketball, pool, table tennis, squash and an ultra-modern gymnasium. The complex also houses a multi-storied parking zone accommodating 350 cars. The Father Muller Research Center is actively committed to enhancing research support through identifying trust areas of scientific investigation and development, formulating the study designs and guiding grant applications of the staff and students of the campus. 
the college is supported by a full-fledged 1,250 bed hospital on the campus. Apart from meeting the present need of 840 hospital beds for teaching purposes, private beds are also available for those desiring additional facilities. The hospital has a well-planned layout with an impressive reception and help desk, an adequate waiting area with support facilities and several computerized registration counters. To enhance convenience, the speciality and super-speciality outpatient departments are located on the ground and first floor of the same block. In addition to the laboratory collection center, the hospital possesses a well-equipped radiology department with MRI, CT, ultrasound, mammography and digital x-ray equipment. Facilities for interventional procedures are also available. A fully functional emergency department with an operation theater is located at the entrance of the hospital. There are three pharmacies on the premises of which one caters to the needs of patients 24 hours a day. A huge laboratory with pathology, biochemistry and microbiology sections is also functional 24 hours a day. The operation theaters which are 15 in number have been completely upgraded. The hospital has separate intensive care units for medical, surgical, cardiac, pediatric, neonatal and burns cases. The burns and the neonatal ICUs are probably the largest in this region. These cater to patients not only from Mangalore but also from neighboring districts and states. Moreover, the hospital also has one of the largest dialysis units in the district. A highly developed oncology department was inaugurated by the former President of India, late Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam and is staffed with highly experienced full-time radiation, medical and surgical oncologists. Under various government-sponsored schemes, the center caters to patients at a very reasonable cost. The blood bank is so efficient that it meets the needs not only of the patients in the hospital but also of those from outside. Again, to aid speedy recovery and rehabilitation, the institution also runs a proficient physiotherapy department which serves patients with a wide spectrum of needs. A newly founded cutting-edge skill and simulation center housed in the Father Muller Utility Complex lends both teaching and learning a strong practical slant and facilitates the employment of the latest in teaching methods. The Father Muller Skill and Simulation Center has been accredited by the AHA for BLS, ACLS and PALS in 2018 for both provider and instructor courses. The Father Muller Medical College Hospital has a unique distinction of being the first in Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences to be accredited by their NAC, NABH and NABL. Father Muller's dream of bringing excellent healthcare to all with special emphasis on the economically deprived has come unquestionably true. Today, people know little about what Father Muller might have said, but they are deeply and sensitively aware of what he built because his hospital saves lives, restores health and well-being and welcomes newborns every single day. Father Augustus Muller had hope that triumphed over doubt. He had a vision which translated itself into actuality. He had imagination powered by dedication and he rested his life's work on the twin pillars of heal and comfort.